Hi, good morning children. How are you? I hope you are all fine. Welcome to Nirbhaya High School, Padmanaga Phase 2, Chintan. Digital Learning Classes to understand the subject easily. I am your English teacher, Astralakshmi Ma'am. Children, good morning to everyone. And what we are discussing, children? We are discussing about the verb forms. Yes, children. As today, what we have done, we have discussed about the yes, simple past, simple present, and simple future tense. Yes, children. Today, we are going to discuss about the continuous tenses. What it is, children? Continuous tenses. Means what? Continuous tenses are three types, three forms there. What are the three forms? Present continuous tense past continuous tense and future continuous tense here continuous form of verb we use the helping verb to to show that to write the continuous tense we use the auxiliary verbs auxiliary verbs are called as helping verbs understood children now see here first present continuous what is the present continuous tense present continuous form of verb the verb is used to express an action that is going on that time of speaking. Going on that time of speaking. This verb form actually tells what is happening at the moment of speaking. Now what I am doing? Now I am teaching. Now I am teaching. I am explaining. I am explaining. Yes, you know, here at that time what I am doing? At that time, this time, what we are doing, that is called as present continuous tense. I am teaching now. I am explaining lesson. This is the present continuous tense. So here, subject plus am, is, are. These are the helping verbs plus in the form of the verb plus object. Excellent. See here. Now, subject I, auxiliary verb am. Here, explaining in the form of the verb. Explaining. I'm explaining the lesson. And as children, we'll see some more examples. I am reading the sentence. I am reading the sentence. I am reading the sentence. We are learning tenses. What we are doing, children? We are learning tenses. The bees are sucking nectar. The bees are sucking nectar. The plumber is repairing the pipe. At the time, means at this moment. Now, what is happening? Now, what is happening? That is present continuous tense. Everyone have understood this? Present continuous tense means at this time, what it is happening, happening, what it is happening. Now, what I am doing, I am explaining what you are saying, what you are doing, children. You are watching, yes, you are watching a video. You are watching a video. Yes, children. Like this. At this time or at that time, what it is going on now means you can remember present. Yes, children. Present continuous tense is that. What is the formula? What is the rule? You can tell as a rule. Subject am, is, are in the form of verb. Understood, children, everyone? Now coming to the past continuous tense. Everyone have understood present continuous tense? Now coming to the past continuous tense. First we will see the rule. Subject plus verse or ver. This is the past form of Am is are helping verb plus in the form of the verb yes you learn plus object you can tell now what is the past continuous tense here past continuous tense of a verb form of a verb is used to express an action that was going on at particular time in the past at the time in the past I was writing notes at this time yesterday now what i'm doing that question of what i was doing that okay children whenever we are talking about the about this time this time only this time means what present but in this time yesterday what we are doing yesterday yesterday what we are doing in this time yes that is past continuous tense it refers to an uncompleted action in the past 
it can be used with the simple past tense to compare the time of two actions in the past it can compare the two actions in the past yesterday i was writing the notes i was writing a note yes children i was writing a note means i was doing that one. see your children what is the past continuous tense at this time what we are doing in the past yes children what we are doing in the past see here now everyone are in the house okay example i'm giving you everyone are in the house now tell me in this time you were in the school what you were doing yes children when i'm asking a question i'm using the past form also in this time you were in the school what you will be doing in the future i will ask yes whenever i'm using will it becomes future whenever i'm using were it becomes past was yes children in same date same day in last year what you were doing uh, i can ask that yes children that the past continuous means what in this time when we are talking at this time instead of what you were doing in the past what you were doing yes children see it was raining in the morning when i left home means what here it was ro raining in the morning it was raining in the morning when i left home in the morning when i was going out of the house it was raining but i'm not talking about that okay about that i'm talking in the present it was a past it was happened in the morning i was i'm talking in the evening then what it is past yes sir see here. i was waiting for my school bus when you saw me when you saw me i was waiting for the school bus they were play, planting saplings in the garden when i reached their house people were flying kites on that breezy morning on that breezy morning people were flying the kites understood children see here what is the past continuous tense we are talking about the past form we are talking about the past form at this time at the specific time what happened at the specific time what was happened that is a past form what it is going on it is the present continuous tense understood children past conti past continuous tense present continuous tense now coming to the future continuous tense what is the future continuous tense future continuous form of verb is used to express what will be happening at a particular time in the future at a particular time what will be happening in the future okay children now see what we are at the particular time what we are doing it is a present continuous at a particular time what we were doing it is in the past form past continuous tense in the particular time what we are going to do it is in the future continuous tense understood children everyone see here what is the rule here subject plus will will be or shall be form in the plus ing form of now future continuous what is the rule subject plus will be or shall be plus ing form of verb see here i shall be traveling to pune tomorrow i shall be traveling to pune tomorrow tomorrow i will be in the train i can tell that i will be in the train tomorrow okay children here we are just telling in the future tense now we are using future continuous tense then you should use the ing form of verb i will be going to pune tomorrow i will be going to pune tomorrow see we shall be revising for test next week we shall be revising for test next week and so children this is about the future continuous tense now what we have learned children present continuous tense past continuous tense future continuous tense just in the simple words i will tell present continuous tense what it is now what we are going we are doing now what at a particular time this time what we are doing it tells the present continuous tense past continuous tense at a particular time in the past at a particular time in the past future continuous tense at a particular time in the future the actions it tells the actions understood everyone now you know about the future 
present continuous tense, past continuous tense, and future continuous tense. Yes, you learn. Now, in these three forms, we are having the negative forms also. Negative means what? And what is not? It is used. Yes, you learn. See, just I will be discussing about that now within two seconds. Finished. Okay. See here. Do, does not, the base form of the verb. I do not play tennis. I do not play tennis. What it is? It is in the form of negative sentence. Present form negative. Past form negative. Present simple future tense. I will not paint the wall. I will not do that. Okay children. Now here what we are discussing. We are telling about the negative forms of simple present. Negative form of simple past. Negative form of simple future. Same as it is. We are having the simple continuous Present continuous tense, past continuous tense, future continuous tense. But when we are using not, n o t not, after the auxiliary verb, then it is in the negative form. Yes, children. I am not going to work. I am not going to write. Yes, children. Here, I am not. It is a negative form. Going is a verb. Yes. Understood children, everyone? Present continuous, past continuous, future continuous. Simple present, simple past and simple future. Now do the worksheets. I will show you, give you the worksheets. Do the worksheets properly. Okay, children. See, children, see. A bit. Fill in the blanks using the verbs in the brackets as directed. First one, I dash run to catch the train. Yes, children, present continuous. What you will use? I am running to catch the train. You will write, I am running to catch the train. Yes, I am running to catch the train. Because it is in the present continuous, you can't use was or were. You should use am, is, are. When I it comes, you should write am only. We can't use any other verse, helping verb. Yes, you learn. See, fill in the blanks using the verbs in the bracket has directed. I dash run to catch the train. Present continuous tense. Write down. The farmers dash harvest the crop in April. Future continuous. The farmers. What you will use children? Future means what? The farmers will be harvesting the crop in April. The sun shine brightly. Past continuous. I dash learn a Spanish dance at this time tomorrow. Yes, you learn future, future continuous. The hunter dash watch from the treetop. Present continuous tense. Riha dash look for her lost ring. Past continuous. They practice hockey early in the morning. You dash perform on stage for the annual day. Future. The elephants trumpet to warn them off in the past continuous the sheep dash bask in the skin present continuous tense write down children write it in your class work and write the sentences correctly which is they have given the instruction in the which form you should write use that i dash run to catch the train present form you should write the farmers Dash harvest the crop in April. Future form. The sun shine brightly. Past continuous form. I dash learn a Spanish dance at this time tomorrow. Future. The hunter dash watch from the tree top. Present. Rhea dash look for her lost ring. Past continuous. They dash practice hockey early in the morning. Past continuous. You dash perform on stage for the annual day. Future continuous. The elephants dash trumpet to warn them of past continuous. The sheep dash bask in the sun present continuous. See your children negative form I said no. Simple present form. See that. And present contin continuous tense. Yes. Now by using this. By seeing you can copy in the classwork. This table by using this, 
you should complete these sentences correct these environmental facts by rewriting these sentences as negative sentence first one monkeys use their tongue to lap up water write down second one most people harness solar power our oceans are free of oil and garbage cutting down trees will help the environment plastic bags and bottles are helpful for the well being of the sea creatures see plastic bags and bottles are not helpful for the well being of the sea creatures you should write like you should use the negative form yes children this form you should write and you should correct it only five you write it out okay children everyone have understood this complete these forms